I'm here now with Shane Rimmer. Hey, Shane, welcome to the programme. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's lovely to be in the programme and also to get into this gorgeous fresh air of the day. It's, it's really marvellous. You were in Star Wars A New Hope, the original one, so we're casting our memories back a few decades. What yes, do you recall? I, I just recall what a mammoth production it was. I mean, there were people everywhere. You couldn't keep track of anybody. And people who did, friends of mine who did the film on the same day, we never saw each other. I mean, it was just a I mean, my, my job on the film was to get R2-D2 into position for the final invasion. This R2 unit of yours seems a bit beat up. You want a new one? Well, he's a, he's a tricky customer. You get a leg in and an arm would pop out. You get the arm in and something else would pop out. It took a day and a half to get this three foot six figure into the cockpit and ready to go up. And, uh, you know, by the time that uh, we, we almost got there, the producers came over and said, look, we got, we got an invasion, we got a war on here. We're gonna... So we, we, got, we, we got there, but it was just a colossal, colossal uh, sized uh, effort. I mean, how they kept the thing in order in the first place, I don't know. But I mean, he did, obviously, and kept it well in order. So. So we're talking about in the X-Wing fighter hangar there, just before the invasion on the Death Star. So Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill's coming up. Uh, did you have any dialogue with anyone? I had, a, I had some uh, dialogue with uh, Mark Hamill because we were on the same wing of the ship. Um, and he, he was sort of scouting out to see if there was anything untoward happening. And in the meantime, I was trying to get R2-D2 <laughs> into this damn cockpit. So we had a few brief words, but I was so occupied in getting this thing done. And of course, when you're working under a time pressure, everything goes wrong. I mean, you don't, your left hand doesn't know what your right hand is doing. It almost fell off the wing a couple of times. Yeah. And you know, it was about 10 feet above the, above the ground. But it, <laughs> it was all right. I'm, I'm sure it produced a kind of realism that war uh, happens in these sort of conditions. <laughs> I hope so anyway.